Here viewers, this is the third video in the series of functional safety in automotive ECU manufacturing. In this video, we will learn the different activities performed to prevent or to detect and mitigate failures during manufacturing. We have considered major activities that are referred in ISO 26262. Let's begin. In this slide, we will see the flow of manufacturing activities. Manufacturing activities starts with creation of manufacturing process flow or the steps involved in the manufacturing activities. Then PFME process failure mode effect analysis, which analyzes the failure and its measures for each step in the manufacturing process. At the same time, systems engineering will create manufacturing specification from the product or system requirements and from customer requirements. This contains requirements for verifying the basic product functionality is not violated during manufacturing. Manufacturing specification is the input to end of line testing or functional testing in the final assembly process. Next is design FMEA at systems and electrical level will be performed from systems and electrical architecture respectively. The failure causes which are related to manufacturing process identified in the DFME shall be taken and analyzed in the PFME. Then the consolidated special characteristics from PFME and DFME measures identified for prevention of failures or detection correction of failures from PFME for each manufacturing steps added into the control plan. Control plan tells at what step in the manufacturing the EOL testing and ICT EOI AXI testing will be performed. ICT EOI AXI testing will use hardware bill of materials to verify the hardware components populated or not impacted during the manufacturing. We discussed the manufacturing testing in our previous video. We will see the other activities in detail in the coming slides. Manufacturing specification contains steps for entering into diagnostic mode and exiting from diagnostic mode, calibration of hardware components, for example, requirements for calibration parameters for TFT, analog gauges, buses for instrument cluster, diagnostic commands to verify the functionality of features and peripherals, for example, diagnostic commands for controlling and reading the status of TFT, LEDs, buzzers, gauges in instrument cluster product using diagnostic commands, instructions for software programming and software version product part number checks, diagnostic commands for operational voltage and temperature checks, DTCs which are used to record the failures of a feature and peripherals, variant coding related to vehicle variants, country related requirement changes, product related parameters like ECU serial number, assembly number, etc. Manufacturing process flow illustrates each step in manufacturing starting from material handling till shipping of assembled product. It analyzes all the aims, material, machines, manpower, methods of manufacturing. As it is named as manufacturing process flow chart, it defines the actions for both positive and negative situations at each verification stage. The SPI stage shown in the flow diagram at the bottom left. If the result is good, then the part sent to the next step. If the result has any defects, then it will be routed to the cleaning section or set as rejected. Same way at EOI second stage, if any defect identified, then the part will be routed to the rework station or set as rejected. Control plan and PFMEA is developed based on manufacturing process flow. The image at the right of the slide explains the different subpart of instrument cluster and the same will be assembled in the final assembly process. PFMEA or process FMEA is a FMEA done on manufacturing process. It's a risk assessment method to evaluate the potential failures of manufacturing process. AIAGVDA standard explains the steps, severity, occurrence, and detection rating in detail. PFMEA uses manufacturing process flow to define the scope of the analysis. PFMEA focuses on material, machine, manpower, and methods in manufacturing. It analyzes the failures of manufacturing process steps and evaluates their risks. 
PFMEA defines the special characteristics. It's a notation used to provide special attention for the function or product during the manufacturing process. PFMEA derives corrective measures to address the failures. For example, wrong selection of part result in wrong population of components at PCB assembly. Barcode scanner will be added as a measure to select the correct part. Error proofing methods, that is poke OK methods, SIM card or USB connector are the good examples of error proofing methods. We cannot insert them wrongly into the slots. Similar measures will be added to prevent wrong insertion of PCB board into the manufacturing line. Special characteristics. It's a notation of weightage or importance provided for the requirement or function and for the process steps. It is derived from customer requirements, product requirements, legal and safety related requirements. For example, the color and symbol of turn indicator, low fuel or seat belt indicator are to be as per country specific regulations. These will be marked as critical characteristics in the FMEA so that the correct symbol and color of the indicator ensured during manufacturing. Design FMEA documents the product or system related special characteristics. Process FMEA documents the process related special characteristics. This helps to execute and track the preventive and corrective measures through control plan. Control plan is the key tool for recording the controls required for systems and process for each step in the manufacturing process. Control plan can be created at three phases in the product development. First, prototype. It's an initial phase and used to produce small quantity of product for engineering purpose. Next, pre-launch. This is a stage after prototype and before full production. At this stage, a small quantity of product produced for testing purpose. Dedicated manufacturing line established and production rehearsal started in this phase. Finally, production stage. Mass production of products will be done at this stage. Control plan document contains the below generic data, which is basic information like part numbers, production site details, date, participants, customer information, etc. Then product control. It contains product related special characteristics, specifications and tolerance level of the product. Next process control. It contains process parameters, tolerances, process related characteristics, details of machines, equipments, tools for manufacturing. In methods, it contains the details for measurement procedure, error proofing, frequency and quantity of samples to be executed, control methods, barcode scanner checks, visual inspections. And then reaction plan. This contains mitigation actions and responsibility. For example, if a fault is detected during visual inspection that the color of the turn indicator is wrong, then the mitigation action is to reject the part and inform to the supervisor or quality members who is responsible. Next example is if a short circuit is detected during ICT, then the mitigation action is to route to the rework station to analyze the causes of the failure. Master sample or golden sample is a part or sample or product with a known expectation of results. It is used to validate the functionality of the error proofing tools or fixtures to verify they are working as expected. For example, instrument cluster with a broken LED can be used to verify the vision based system detects that as a failure and reject the part. Master sample can be used to verify both positive and negative use cases. Positive means the functionality works as per requirement and machine conforms with the pass. And negative means part with a failure will be inserted and the machine is able to detect the failure and reject the part. This sample is maintained in the dedicated storage area with proper identification or version management. And the same part fed periodically into the manufacturing line at every start of the shift or on a daily basis for validation of the devices. Mitigation plan shall be in place if in case of mismatch in the outcome, meaning the negative sample inserted and expecting machine to detect it. If the machine is not detecting, then a mitigation plan to check the machine shall be in place. In our upcoming video, we will learn about these activities from a functional safety perspective. Stay tuned. 
contact us at autofunctionalsafety at gmail.com if you have any questions on this topic. Thank you for watching.